Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to take your template that we're using on the home page and apply it to the rest of your sites. Um, if you'll notice, the header, the footer, the nav, the stuff that gets repeated across sites is going to be fine on every page. But what happens on other pages? And even better than fine, they're going to be great. Uh, what happens on other pages? So let's check out. Um, let's check out the customer service page. Okay, so this is just madness here. We have one single column and has no idea what to do. Likewise, on our furniture page, which is also something a little bit different, uh, it has no idea what to do as well. So I think one thing we need to do is to know exactly what templates these pages are using. So as always, I'm going to go to System, Configuration, Developer, and then uh, set my configuration scope to be main website. I'm going to turn on our developers toolboxes and I'm going to see what templates these are using at the moment. Okay, I'm going to refresh this page. And it looks like, as we can see here, this is using page three columns. Uh, what did our privacy or our customer service page use? I bet it's using three columns as well. So uh, we have these pages. Um, let's actually see if we can have one more one that's using one column. Okay, this one's using one column. So we have these templates. They're already in existence. Um, and well, you can tell they're in existence because pages are using them. But more importantly, they're in our default folder. And pages, unless you tell them otherwise, are going to want to use these. So we could go to all those pages and tell them to use the same template. But you're going to want to have different options. You're going to have left column, right column, uh, one column, whatever. So let's look at our theme. Our theme, we have two columns right. Uh, in the default theme, they have one column, two columns left, and three columns PHTML. And we're just going to grab all three of those, and we're going to put it in our theme. We're of course, going to copy these, as always, and throw it into our page directory, where they were. Um, sorry, I threw them into the HTML by accident. Let's move these up a level. Um, Thanks, Finder. Okay, let's put these in the page directory where they belong. And let's open them up in Sublime Text. Let's open all of them up. Great. Okay, well, it decided to not do that. Let's do something a little bit differently here. Um, two columns left. We're going to have this open as a tab. I'm going to close some of these other tabs. So we don't need them right now and we won't need them for the remainder of this uh, tutorial here. So I'm gonna grab the three columns, throw it up here as well, and the one column, throw it up here, just so we can have them all open. And I'm going to change my view here. I'm gonna change the view to do layout in two columns. So this right template is the one that we were using before. I'm gonna hide the sidebar to get some extra space here. Okay, this two columns right is the one we were using before. We want to take the styles that we used for this, which wasn't a whole lot of craziness, but we want to apply them to these other templates. Since two columns left is going to be the most similar, let's pull it over here and we can compare them. First off, we see this doc type. This stuff's all different here. I'm going to grab everything from this doc type to the head. I'm just going to replace this code. And likewise, so we have, uh, we, can, we can line these up sort of here, but we have a div class of wrapper. And then we have uh, Global Nose's head. We had this class of page that we actually deleted. So I'm going to delete this as well, right here. Okay, so these are getting a little more similar. And uh, we had this, this div that was main container. We gave it just a class of container. And we're going to do that again here. We're going to change this to column left. We're going to get rid of that as well and just give another clear fix. And for this div class of main, we'll leave it like that, column main. Instead of 13 column, well, this is column left. Um, we're going to do the same here. We're going to do 13 columns, column main. And for the sidebar, this column left, it's also going to be sidebar three columns. And I'm just going to paste this in here. Okay. 
And one thing you might be thinking is, okay, well, if these look the same, how is this going to be left and this one going to be, or this one's going to be right and this one's going to be left? Well, the way that Magento was doing it, their default themes, they had this floating left and this floating right. And here they had this floating right and this floating left, or them both floating left. Either way, we're not going to be doing it that way. We're using skeleton, so we want this column left to actually come before our main column in our theme right here. Okay, so let's get on that. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now we have uh, what should be the same, except for we had this be a section before. Um, let's see, section, and then we want this right bar, we want this to be in this side, or this left bar, I'm sorry. Okay, cool, so now things are looking really similar. In fact, this is all we need to do for this file. Let's check out our page to see what's changed. First, we wanna turn off this configuration settings, true done. Okay, now we want we want something that's going to be using this layout. Let's pick this furniture page. I'm going to go to catalog, manage categories. I'm going to change this furniture one specifically, furniture. And we're going to custom design. No layout updates. I'm going to say two columns with the left bar. And really quick, I need to select this uh, custom design level up default and Save this. Great, and now we have uh, opposite what we had before. We have a two column layout with a column on the left, column on the right. Of course, uh, this is going to require more CSS than this to get it looking great, but the basic layout is here. And if we adjust our page, it's gonna be responsive. Cool, perfect, awesome. So now we just need to take it to the last two template files and we'll be on our way. So let's do the three columns first because that's going to be the most different and then one column because it's going to be the easiest. So I'm going to uh, come here again and grab everything, this doc type, this code right above the head here, throw it in. And now we have this page using HTML5. Again, I'm gonna delete this page class as we did before, just like that. And I am going to change this main container to just be container and then this call three layout to be clear fix and this time we're gonna have to do something a little bit different if both of our columns are taking up a left and a right we're gonna have to have the main take up something different so before we had the left sidebar go above the main wrapper we're gonna be doing that again they're using a little different technique to have three columns here I find this grid framework to be a uh, little bit better of a technique, especially for doing this uh, responsive, using this skeleton framework, we might as well use it to our advantage. So this is going to be an aside. Uh, this is our left side, this is our left column. We're gonna have this be a side, and we're gonna have the classes for this be the same as it was before, sidebar, three columns. And we're not gonna worry about left because it automatically is on the left, although, Maybe we, could, maybe we can leave the left in there. I take that back. We wanna leave the left in there if we're trying to key off anything inside of it. But other than that, we shouldn't need it. Uh, this div, the column wrapper, is a, going to be, uh, actually, this is going to be completely gotten rid of because this didn't exist in the previous template. So content wrapper is gone. We have this uh, column main at the same level as our side here just make sure all this is nice and clean okay and this main column is going to be a section and this div is going to be a section okay and we're not going to worry about the classes right now we're going to do this one first this right column uh, which is also an aside and then a sign and this is going to have the same sidebar three columns if you remember, our total column numbers were out of 16. 16 minus three minus three is 10. So we're going to have this main section, column main, we're going to say 10 columns. So now this is going to be 10, three, three, 
equals 16, we should have a uh, three column page here. So let's check out one of our three column pages that we're using this. Um, and we can go to, let's say electronics, I believe was using it. So now I clicked on electronics, we have three columns, just like we would have in the old Magento design. However, these columns are uh, responsive to the width of your site and are going to allow for better mobile experience. Okay, last one is one column, it shouldn't take any time at all. If you remember what we did before, as always, we're gonna grab this stuff, throw it up top here, delete the page. Because these templates are mostly the same, if you're working off of these, that's cool. Another thing you could have done from the start was uh, build out your own template and then fill it in with their code instead of modifying their code. You know, either way works depending on how custom you have to make it. If it has to be very similar to Magento's default site, you might as well just edit theirs and take it from there. Uh, this certainly works fine for this particular instance. So I'm just gonna add a class of container, a class of clear fix, uh, and then our class of main, and then our section column main. This time it's going to be uh, getting a class of, nope. It's gonna be getting a class of 16 columns. So 16 columns, save this, and let's find a page that's using this one column layout. Actually, let's go to apparel and we'll tell apparel to use a one column layout just for fun. So we can see it in action, custom design. We're gonna use parent settings, apply products. We're gonna say use Magento or use uh, level up and one column. Save this. Refresh. It's now using a one column. It's responsive. I mean, it's not great. We wouldn't wanna do this normally, but we have all of our templates ready to go. So in between this tutorial and the next, I'm gonna do some styling to get these things looking right. If you need help with that, let me know and I will make tutorial videos to show you how to uh, style these up in a grid a little bit better. But I'm basically gonna get this presentable so we can do some real great Magento development here. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching.